same for a house. And I knew I had a, a two, two to three years to wait. And so I tried to work out what, what fund I could reasonably expect to get a bit more than cash in, but without a huge, huge risk of losing, losing, you know, seeing a drawdown over that time period. So I think it was, it was at the time, I believe, Casano Multi Manager Diversity, you know, which I worked out. You know, I, I was pretty confident I was not going to see a drawdown and might give me a little bit more than cash. Um, and it worked out well enough. It didn't make, didn't make much money, but marginally more than I would have done in cash. So I achieved that, that objective. I suppose the last sizable investment I made was Henson Opportunities Trust. So I bought a big chunk of that um, in around November 2020. So I didn't, it was a little bit after the, after the bounce, um, but, but shortly before I had a big discount close very from, from wide double digits, close to par. And then that did very well too. And then it's moved out a bit uh, towards the second half of the year and I've added a bit more to that. And so this is purely a long-term, this is my pension. Um, and I've noticed that you know, this this is a very cyclical, very geared portfolio that tends to tends to be very volatile in terms of its discount, but also do very well over the long run. Particularly if you can time an entrance or an exit. And given that I'm expecting to be invested in it for multiple market cycles, I think that you know maybe in the next one or the one after that, I can probably take my investment up close to par and hopefully have done very well. Yeah, that's the plan anyway.